Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do this patriotic card. You can use it for 4th of July, you can use it for a July birthday, you may know of someone who is over in Afghanistan that you might want to send it to. It's just a great all-over card. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to start off with a card base um, that is very vanilla, and it is four and a quarter by 11, and the first thing that we're going to do is do our stripes. So I took my cardstock and I cut up some cherry cobbler that was three quarters by three inches and all the, the measurements will be on my blog and you're going to adhere them to the bottom of the base just like this and then I took um, another one and the next one you're going to take and you're going to put it over here on the side so that um, you have your two end pieces and it's much easier to do it this way because now all you have to do is center the middle one Okay, just look at, at both sides and then just center the middle one. Now, before we adhere the um, Knight of Navy card, you've got to do a couple things to it. So I'm going to put this aside for now, and I'm going to take out my Knight of Navy card. And what I did was I punched out um, the little star from um, my Knight of Navy, and that comes in my, our little punch pack that is brand new out of the... Um, the idea booking catalog and it comes in a set of three it is called the itty bitty accessories punch pack and it's got the star you've seen me use the flower quite a bit and definitely the heart which is absolutely absolutely adorable and this one also has a bigger um, punch that goes along with it in this cute little design so what I did was I just randomly punched out a star from the piece that I'm going to actually put onto my card now the next thing that you want to do before you adhere it to your card is to add your stars so I'm just going to take my um, large star and just place it anywhere uh, just randomly and you see how I have it hanging off the side just like that I'm next going to take uh, my smaller one. No, I'll take my next bigger one. Now, I want to show you something. When we go to do this, what you want to do is you want to make sure that, first of all, you have your um, your your silicone mat when you're when you're uh, uh, using your snail. But you want to make sure that you get it all the way to the edge because you just don't know where you're going to um, have this hang off. And if you don't have it go from the center to the end, um, you might not have glue in the right spot. So I just start at the center and just glue my way out. So that's where the silicone mat comes in handy also. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, actually I want to put that underneath because it will um, uh, adhere to my paper underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, again, just randomly place this somewhere. I like to have them hang off. And then the last one is going to be right here. And you'll notice that um, I covered up that one little spot. Now, to get my stars, what I used, besides my little um, tiny one, is our new star framelits. I told you in every video you need to get all the nestability ones because, the nesting ones, because um, we just use them for so much. And they take all the guesswork out of it. This one actually goes right inside here. And then this one goes right inside here, and you've got your, your star pack. So it's a, a definitely a definite one to put on your wish list, and then go get it. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces added to um, our, our Knight of Navy piece. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take and you're going to turn it over, and you're just going to cut off these little, these little pieces right here. So anything that's hanging off, to, off the edge you're just going to take and you're going to clip. Oops, here's one down here. And here's another one right here. Okay, so now we have um, our piece that we're going to add to our card. And let's just add some s adhesive to that. And add that to our card. The next thing that I did, and we're almost finished, is to add my ribbon. And this is about 16 inches of our cherry cobbler um, uh, seam binding adhesive, or adhesive, <laughs> our seam binding ribbon. Oh, let me just show you how, I love to show you how to do bows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece that's on the right, or on the left, and it's going to go over the, the left, or the right piece. So let's say that again. The left goes over the right. Left over right. Then you're going to take and you're going to pull it from side to side, pull top to bottom, just like this, and hold it. And then with this one, all I did was make a knot, so I took the bottom one and I placed it over the top one. And when you go to tie this one, you're just going to pull side to side the second time. So you probably don't need 16 inches. 16 inches would be for a bow, 
um, you probably could get away with maybe 14 inches and then just trim these off I hate to waste ribbon but trust me, I can find something to do with these two little pieces. Okay, so there's our bow, and the last thing that we have left to do is to add our little um, our little star. And our little star, like I said, came from our punch pack, so that complemented my framelits right here. And I'm just going to take off the um, the. I just took a little tiny piece of um, dimensional, put it on the back. You can place this anywhere. But the thing that makes it a wow card is our our crystal effects. Our crystal effects, I'm just going to start placing it on just like that. And then you just move it with the tip of it, just like this. And when it's done, it gives it such an adorable 3D look that I just love. It's it's an embellishment that you're making and it's just so shiny and you want to put it on nice and thick and then you want to set it aside. When the girls come for classes I tell them um, you know we do this and I tell them to set it aside and when they go home it's still not going to be dry so set it on your front seat and don't stop quick or it will end up in your windshield and it will stick there because this is an adhesive. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that dry and when you're done you have this adorable little patriotic card. So I hope you enjoyed my post. Take care. Have a great day. And just let me know if you have any questions. Hop on over to my blog for all the measurements. Take care. Have a great day.